Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To navigate to the different sections in Outlook and show their contents, you can use the navigation bar. The navigation bar was called the navigation pane in older versions of Outlook. The navigation bar appears at the bottom of the Outlook window and shows the categories of Outlook items like mail, calendar, and people, for example. When you click an icon in the navigation bar, the items in that category section then appear in the folder pane at the far left side of the Outlook window. To change the view of the navigation bar in Outlook, click the View tab in the ribbon. Then click the Folder Pane drop-down button in the Layout button group. Then select the Options command from the drop-down menu that appears to open the Navigation Options dialog box. Alternatively, to open the Navigation Options dialog box, you could also click the More dots that appear at the right end of the navigation bar. Then select the Navigation Options command from the pop-up menu that appears. By default, the navigation bar appears compact and contained in the bottom of the folder pane. To instead make the navigation bar span the bottom of the Outlook window, uncheck the Compact Navigation checkbox. Then set the maximum number of visible items using the spinner arrows in the box. The maximum number of items you can show in the navigation bar is 8. To change the order in which the items appear, select an item in the Display in this order list. Then click the Move Up or Move Down buttons to the right. To apply any changes when finished, click the OK button. The navigation bar contains icons for the different sections of Outlook. You can click the icon of one of these sections to view that section in the adjacent folder pane. For example, if you click the Mail icon, your Inbox folder and other email folders then appear in the folder pane. If you click a folder in the folder pane, its contents then appear to the right. For example, clicking the Inbox folder in the folder pane shows its emails to the right. To adjust the view of the folder pane, click the View tab in the ribbon. Then click the Folder Pane button in the Layout button group. Then select either the Normal, Minimized, or Off choice. For the Mail section, you can also select the Favorites command in this drop-down menu to toggle its display in the folder pane on or off. All selected sections in Outlook also provide access to a Reading pane. This pane shows the contents of the currently selected section item in a separate pane. To set the display of the reading pane for the currently selected section, click the View tab in the ribbon. Then click the Reading Pane drop-down button in the Layout button group. Then choose where to show the reading pane in this section by choosing either Right, Bottom, or Off in the drop-down menu. To change the universal settings for all sections that show the reading pane, Select the Options choice from the Reading Pane drop-down buttons drop-down menu. Then check the desired checkboxes in the Reading Pane dialog box to enable a feature or uncheck them to disable a feature. If enabled, the To Do bar appears at the right side of the Outlook window. This bar does not appear by default in Outlook. Within a selected section of Outlook, the To-Do bar can show calendar info, contact info, and task info. To set the display of the To-Do bar for the current section, click the View tab in the ribbon. Then click the To-Do bar button in the Layout button group. Then select either the Calendar, People, or Tasks commands in the drop-down menu that appears to toggle that info on or off in the To-Do bar. Selecting the Off command toggles all info off and hides the to-do bar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.